<laughs> All right. So how is the dynamic going to change as the show gets into season three? Uh, mm, you know, what's made me uh, so happy to be on the show is just that each year it seems to reboot itself again. And, you know, going into this third season now, the dynamic is, is completely changed. You know, by the end of the second season, you, you saw this kind of family growing, uh, which, uh, in, in a sense, kind of a Justice League uh, Avengers type thing, you know, arguing as well as they have to, you know, uh, save the day and solve these crimes and save these, you know, to an extent, humanity. And it's just being that now that they have to run division, it's, it's going to be psychologically more difficult for them. Uh, they're now practically living together in division as well, so it's going to cause a lot of conflict. There was already conflict at the end of the second season, but now they have to work together. And they're forced to, they're pretty much forced to by the president, um, who has given them all these partners. So it's 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 going to make things more unique, and I think it's going to make it a little more personal as well. I think there will be a lot more intimate scenes, and I don't necessarily mean sexual, but intimate as in getting... Uh, you know, into the characters more and seeing how their relationships, uh, how, how they can actually connect on all these types of things. Um, can you tell us something about, I think you're going, uh, the characters are going to China for some reason? What's, what's going on there? I don't know how you know that. Um, but uh, I learned about that, I think, two days ago. Um, I, uh, yes, um, first episode. Um, you know, the, I'm not even sure how much, once again, I can say since we literally just got here. This is the first, like, second interview. Um, and I haven't talked to Craig yet. Um, but I do know one of the main things here um, for this season is that we... There are like 30 or more uh, people that are rogue out there the world that have not come home to Division. And so our whole point is to kind of bring these people back. Now, they might be willing to do it, and they may not be willing to do it. They may try and kill us, and then all of a sudden we may have a new team, team member. Um, so that is, gen in, in, in general, the point of the season of where we have to go. So the first one starts off in China with a uh, rogue agent that doesn't want to come home. And we have to stop him from trying to uh, basically finish his order, like his last order from Percy. And uh, some of them don't think Percy's necessarily dead. Some people believe it. Some people don't believe that we should be running the division. And that they, if, they, if they come home and get that pardon, they might actually be executed. So that's all going to kind of revolve around. It's all going to start with China. <laughs> you, you didn't get to go to China, though, did you? No, we're not going to China. <laughs> I haven't even shot it yet. Well, we haven't shot it yet, but we start, we start first day of shooting next Wednesday. Um, so, um, I don't know. <laughs> um, I'm kind of excited to see, but you know, in the last two seasons, we've done, we've done Peru, we've done Turkey, we've done Japan, we've done uh, countries that don't make any sense to the fact that we're in Toronto. And somehow we're making it work. And how somehow we're making it uh, look correct. Um, and that's, we've done Amsterdam, which is, it's all about an hour outside of Toronto. A lot of the smaller towns that, that really uh, make it uh, perfect. So they're going to find something. We'll make it work. Um, I'm not worried, especially since we did Peru which, uh, in Turkey, which really made it seem strange to do in Toronto. <laughs> so besides uh, these rogue agents, what other enemies, old and new, will you guys be facing this season? Well, I mean... Amanda is still lurking, you know, and uh, Ari, of course, and there is, she's got a good, um, she's not in the first one, but she has a good uh, little character arc that's talked about that the audience wouldn't exactly know about. Um, it's brought up in the first episode, so you'll see what she's been doing right now. So she's, she's like lurking, she's about to pop <laughs> You have these these rogue agents, which I mean is 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 a wonderful casting idea. I mean, this brings a lot of guys and girls that can come in on this, young and old, and whatever, varied, uh, that can come in there and you know bring kind of a, you know a presence. And that first guy, I'm, I'm thrilled. I don't know. I mean, I'm thrilled to find out who's playing because it's a great character. So. 
going to see more bad guys in Marvel. I mean, we've had some, you know, some good villains and Percy being the ultimate villain, but you know, this time it's like, there is no ultimate villain. There is Amanda and there is Ari, but they're kind of doing their own thing. So there's going to be a lot of extra characters, and for, for us going into a season three, that's more exciting. It also brings in new people all the time. It just kind of keeps the story fresh. So the news came out yesterday that uh, Devin's going to be a series regular in season three. Can you talk That's about that? That's right. Uh, we were excited about that, in, if not completely uh, uh, baffled, and so was he. Um, we were, we, well, I had just saw him four or five days ago, and uh, he sent me a text saying that he suddenly was a regular before, before even Twitter, somehow, before it even got across Twitter. Um, and, uh, yeah, we were excited. We, I mean, it's... Owen's a you know very integral part of, of the show and has you know is a different. There's no one else like him, you know, that character. And you can go so many places with it. It's it's going to be a perfect help for this team, for Team Makita, as they like to call it. Um, and you know we just we had added Noah at the end of the year, for the character of Ryan. So now we have quite a quite a group. Um, and but he has no clue what he's doing. Um, I'm not quite sure if everyone else does it because he's not in the first episode because this just happened. So we have to find out when Melinda is going to be in that next one, when, uh, when Devin is going to be in that next one. All we know right now is, which is smart because it's a good build. Right now it's the current team uh, and then it's going to start extending with the other characters. So that'll be also fun for the fans to watch and kind of tune in and see what's popping up in the next one. Do you have a particular storyline that you would like to see um, Michael in for season two? Um, well, I, I, I know what's going to happen. I asked, and it's insane, <laughs> and it's awesome, and that's all I'm going to say. But what, uh, there can't even be any hints, but one of the uh, things that I wanted to see pre-having the conversation with Greg was to see... Michael go through some more 